Hey guys, it's New Master, and welcome back to another Redstone video. In this video, I'll be uh, showing off my Carry Look Everywhere adder that I have right here. But um, first of all, I want to kind of apologize for the lack of videos lately. Um, I've been really busy with school and other stuff, um, personal life stuff that, um, yeah. So that's why I really haven't had many videos. Uh, I'm still in the midst of studying for finals and having a ton of projects. So uh, videos are probably going to be a little bit, a little bit uh, more far between. Not too much. Like probably one every couple days. But um, yeah. Anyways, into what I have here. Um, I'm actually on the uh, or or Redstone server right now. There's people on. Um, Basically what this is, it's an adder, but most adders that you think of are ripple carry, basically meaning that when you uh, input something, it will ripple, the carry will ripple across all the bits and it'll add delay. I mean, even if you have insta carry, it, it's still technically ripple carry and you still have to add repeaters for the signal length. Now. This technically you would have to add repeaters for signal length too, but the difference is this is completely synchronized. Like if you have uh, insta carry adder, it won't be synchronized usually. Um, this is six ten ticks, no pistons, so you won't get any derpy piston bugs either. Uh, synchronized, so every operation you do will always be six ticks, no matter what. Um, it's a modified version of carry look ahead. Um, basically, all the possible carries are on these, like these lines here. Calculate all the possible carries. So you have your generate carry right down here, and then your propagate would propagate higher and let the uh, signal come out at a higher level each time. That is how the carry works. And then the rest of it's pretty much just an adder. There's XORs or XORs and XNORs and stuff. But uh, anyways, I have a uh, system of streaming data through this thing right now um, set up. The good thing about having a sync adder is that you can stream data through it and have no interference. So. I could input one thing and then two or three ticks later input the next thing over and over again really fast and I can uh, get my outputs like really fast which really makes the speed not really count because you can just input things faster just like one after the other so to, an example of this would be like um, this is my little apparatus thing that I made uh, I didn't really uh, I didn't really um didn't uh like pay attention to the uh how efficient it is or anything because I just did it in a couple days or not a couple days a couple hours um so first I entered in uh, one plus one for the first uh first stage here and then for the first operation. And then the next one, maybe I want to do something like 2 plus 2, why not? So uh, 2 plus 2 for the next one. And then next one, maybe uh, 3 plus, uh, yeah, 3 plus 1. And then maybe the last one, something higher up here like... Uh, 12 plus 10. Why not? So yeah, I have my input set. Now I have to save it into the uh, little registers that I have here. Uh, in a CPU, uh, this would be controlled by the CPU and you wouldn't have to do all this manual crap. But um, this is just an example. Yeah, the adder can work without this stuff too. Um, I'm just using this to show off the adder. Show off the... Um, properties of the adder. So after I turn these levers off, I'm going to hit a button which is going to stream all this data through the adder at once. 
and allow it to uh, make all these calculations at once. So, well not at once, one after the other really fast. So that's streaming through, and then we have our answer here. You can see how fast that was, that streamed four operations through the adder in like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, round 12 ticks, not counting the actual speed of the adder, so it's like 18 ticks about total for four operations. Uh, it can be two ticks, but I had um, I had some timing, uh, torch, there were torch bugs, directional issues with torches. Um, I could work that out, but I don't want to. I was just lazy. So uh, this could be even faster. But um, just to prove that it's right, first we did 2 plus 1 plus 1, which is 2, and then we did uh, 2 plus 2, which is 4, and then we did 3 plus 1, which is also 4, and then we did 12 plus 10, which is 22. So this is 16 plus 4 plus 2. Uh, the outputs are in columns like this just because of how the way the adder is designed. Alright, and that will automatically clear once I uh, input another set of numbers here. Um, let's do another example just for fun. Let's do 6 plus 6 for this first one. Whatever. Is that, no. Server's being laggy. And oh, I forgot to turn the forgot to turn the streaming off. <laughs> I'm stupid. Yeah, I probably want that off. And yeah, so six plus six. And uh, I'm not gonna set a full uh, full four numbers here. Uh, and then um, something up here. Why not? Actually, let's just carry across the bits for this one. So we'll just turn all these on, and then one here. Boom. And then save. And then turn these levers off. Again, this would be controlled by CPU, so none of this manual stuff would, would um, happen. Alright, so when I hit that button, it's going to give me 12 and then uh, 128. Or not button, lever. So it's going to stream through there, get rid, of, get rid of all the old crap. And then we have 12 here, and then uh, actually I didn't carry all the way. It was 64. Yeah, I didn't hit the top, didn't hit this, that one. So, uh, anyways, um, Again, sorry for the lack of videos. I've been really busy. Um, hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of something. Um, I actually made this a long time ago. I just decided to build some uh, streaming equipment just to show it off today. Um, I had some. I spent like an hour making the timing work because I, I really hate timing because it it works in theory and then it just doesn't work when you try it out. I don't know. Maybe I'm just bad at it. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.